I have logged in a fair amount of hours in Dragon Ball Fighters to feel comfortable enough to say that the fusion meta is ruining Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, and the 21 lab code. These four characters practically run the entirety of Dragon Ball Fighters. Everyone is playing these characters online, acting all complete monkey brain with them. Oh, he yeah. tried to spin. Yeah. He tried to spin again. But, but because Goku Blue's one is actually a hit as well. What is yeah. going on? I ain't gonna lie, Goichi deserved that. I never thought I'd say the day, but Goichi absolutely deserved to get hit by that. Not to mention, the late based netcode enables them to mash even more, making the game feel like who can mash better. In tournaments, Every person has at least two fusions or 21 lap good on their team. Which is really bad because it's making viewing tournaments very boring and stale. You know it's bad when seeing Z Broly in a tournament is exciting. And I hate that character. It's gone to a point where I have made stamps specifically for the people that spam fusion teams just for the sake of calling them. Here comes a mighty warrior. Oh my Bro, you look like you alt F4 when you lose. What the fuck? It really sucks because Fighters has a wide range of characters. Fighters is in a state where no character is bad, and I adore that about the game. If you go to any recent tier list, you will notice that most tier lists on Fighters, the lowest tier is B tier. You can pick up any character you like, slap them on a the team, and make it work. Like, bro, a team of Goku, Gohan's father, and Badok's son is actually a solid team. There are some really solid character choices in DBFC. It's just that there are better options. Let's look at some of the stuff that make the fusions and 21 lab codes so good. They all have really good buttons. They all have really good level 3 Oki. They all have really good stacker pressure. They all have reversals to help them get out of disadvantage. They get so much damage out of doing so little and the list goes on. Look, in a fighting game, they are going to be top tier characters, which is not a bad thing. It's bad when the top tier characters are so forgiving and accessible that a literal child can play them. Okay, let's use my favorite Goku to play as right now, Goku Blue, and Blue Vegeta as an example. Both Blue Vegeta and Blue Ku are very high damage characters. The catch is that Blue Ku's damage is centered around learning his loops and they are not easy to get consistently, especially with delay-based netcode. I'm honestly impressed I can do these loops consistently in 4 frames of delay. And for Blue Jita, he has very stubby normals. You're going to get outranged a lot. Risk reward, right? But for someone like Gogeta Blue, he got good normals and you can do a basic BNB combo to get your opponent in a two-touch situation. Like there is little to no risk with these characters, yet you get rewarded for doing the bare minimum. Not to mention they all have reversals. Reversals are really good because it helps the person get out of a sticky situation, but if you miss, you are going to get punished. A good player knows when to use their reversal, which adds mind games in the match and can be used to both players' advantage. But the fusions I get online will use their reversals every chance they get, which just makes them even more annoying to go up against. <laughs> watch it, 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 watch it. What's worse is that the fusion players I face online don't even use their characters to their full potential. They just mash and wake up and spam their reversal move when I have them in a block string. Because no one likes to block in this game, especially the fusion players. Over here. Over here. Bro, he's just pressing buttons, it's so funny. <laughs> because he's still players carried by their character. And it's even more frustrating when you lose to them and they think they're so good at this game. When in reality, they're not. I'm just really bad. Me and my friend decided to play some games with just fusions, just to prove how brain dead these characters were, and the results were. Oh, I'm so good at this game, bro. Oh wait, don't I have? Oh! Yo, I forgot about that move. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm so good, bro. I'm so good at this game. I'm taking that one personal. <laughs> about to die, bro. It's oh, hurt. It's getting like Ow. no. It's full time, bro. I got the Hana like just destroying my health instantly. No! What the fuck? No! Nobody cares. No! I mean, you could have done anything. I sold a little bit. You know. What the fuck? What? <laughs> I saw that. What the hell, my brother? Ah. Whoa! Don't worry about it. Oh my okay. god, ah, DP! I gotta go jump. 
I have one oh, too! Okay. I have one too, Sancho! <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Not yeah. if you just did. <laughs> bro, there is no way, bro. <laughs> like, what? Oh, I didn't even lead number five, damn! Oh my gosh. Oh, nah. Okay. Get him out there, Sancho! Oh. Get him out! I can't even do that. No, you're good. You're good. I oh, got that. That is so <laughs> dumb, no. bro. What? There's no way, bro. There's no way. Wow, bro, 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 bro. this fucking character, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Nah, there is no way, bro. There is no way, brother. Bro, I hate Did that I? so much, dude. <laughs> there she is. Oh, 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 ah, no! Deep, 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 yeah! There's no way, bro. What the no. fuck? That's what you get. That's what you get, bro. Hold my, hold my feet, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. What the oh, fuck? You got all this. Hold on, what you dashing for, huh? What you dashing for? Okay, what you got? No way, bro. Not very productive. So Trey, how would you go about nursing these characters? Well, I'm glad you asked, random person who is obviously not me making it look like I'm talking to myself. I'm completely sane, I promise. For Vegito, I would decrease the stun time on his A assist, make his 5M shorter again, while also nerfing his damage. For Gogeta, I would increase the scaling on some of his moves just so he does less damage. For Gogeta 4, I would increase the scaling on his 2 for 6 h remove the anti-air function on the third hit of his 5 LL, while also increasing the recovery time so he can't do shit like this. And for Lab Code 21, I don't know if I'm being biased here because I play the character on my main team, but I would not change her frame data because I don't want another SSJ Goku 2M nerf on my hands. But I would make her 214 spin only anti air and not key blast involved. I'd also remove the backward hitbox on her 236 spin because I've caught so many people vanishing with this move. Remove her level 3 Oki on her alternate super. And I would move her debuff altogether because she does not need it. The fact that it debuffs the opponent's damage while also buffing you, which I think stacks with the burst limit feature. Not to mention it can be used as a tick throw option, making her block string pressure even more menacing, is just not fair. Honestly, if Robot Netcode really is the final patch for this game, then we are going to see the fusions run the meta for a very long time to come. Oh, and uh, 21 as well. I feel no amount of nerfs will drop them down in the tier list. That is, until a potential Fighters 2, but we don't even know when Robak is coming, let alone if Axis is even gonna make a sequel. A solution going forward would be to ban the top 4, so that way we can see all the Janemba players, the Zamasus, the Beeruses, the Nappas, the Blukus, the SSJ Gokus, oh my god. <laughs> That sounds way more exciting. So for now, niggas like me either have to cope with it and just continue learning how to combat with the fusions, or just say fuck it, I'm playing 21 against you fuckers. Ow.